Hello and welcome to pdfsupply.com. Today we're going to be testing an IC693 PCM301 programmable coprocessor. I have one here powered up in the rack. Uh, just so you guys know what I have in front of you in this video, um, an IC693 CHS3975 slot rack, a IC693 PWR330 high capacity power supply, and an IC693 CPU374 Plus. They're all powered up. As you can see that I have an OK light on on the uh, PCM301. So if this is going to be a test video for you guys out there, if you're going to be using it as troubleshooting, just know that the first step is to make sure that you have an OK light on, that you've powered it up and it's had a, ch a chance to go through its self-diagnostic and it comes back OK. All right. Another thing is, is Getting back to the name of, of this uh, particular module, programmable uh, coprocessor. So that means that if it can hold a program, it needs a battery. And I, I don't have the battery in there. I just wanted to take it out so I could show you guys. The battery that this takes goes right into this holder right here and plugs into the receptacle above. Uh, the battery is an IC693 ACC301 which is something that we also carry if you guys have one that doesn't test good or if there's something wrong with it, if you feel it's not holding the memory, uh, please see us about that. So basically the test, after I power it up and I get the OK light, I want to configure it in Prophecy Machine Edition and then I want to use a software, which hopefully I don't lose you guys on this, but there's a software called Testcom, which has a CCM, or rather a CMM protocol and it, it sends out a query and then has a reply, much like when you ping something using your command prompt, a, an Ethernet type connection, and you ping it and you look for a reply, okay? So what I'm gonna do in Prophecy Machine Edition is I've opened up a new blank file featuring the same modules that we discussed, the uh, PWR330 CPU374 in the same rack, and in slot number two, which this is in right now, I'm going to right click and add module, go to intelligent option, and PCM301. Okay, you can see there's some details about it, it has 192 uh, KB of uh, memory, and then you can see what some of the other ones have for memory. But we're going to click on that, you can double click on it, and since I don't have the battery actually in the module, for my particular test, I'm just going to say that we don't have a battery. And I'm going to connect up to the processor. Toggle to online mode. Now, if you look down below, if you're following me so far, we're in programmer mode. Stop, faulted, configuration and logic are not equal. All right, that's just because the processor was handling something different before we've asked it to test this PCM301. So what we're going to do in that case, since we're, we're faulted, I'm going to go to my target bar, online commands, clear, and we're going to clear any controller and I.O. fault tables. Say OK, yes. OK, now you got to do this step because it'll keep you from getting hung up when we do the uh, download and start active target, which is right here, if you're following my arrow. For this particular test, Hardware configuration and motion and logic is sufficient. We don't need to write anything to permanent flash memory or anywhere else, so we're going to OK that. And we're going to enable the outputs. And it's going to start the controller for us. OK, we're in run mode right now. And if you look down below, follow my arrow, this is where what you guys should be uh, seeing, programmer mode. Uh, we're in run mode, the outputs are enabled, configuration and logic are equal. Okay, if for some reason that you guys aren't at that stage, go to the feedback zone here and take a look at what it's telling you if there's any errors. Okay, and if you can't find anything there, you can go to target, and go to diagnostics, and your info viewer uh, tab will turn into a fault table viewer and it'll tell you if there's any uh, issues here, and then you can clear them and uh, move on with your test. All right. So back to the PCM301. Now that it's configured, I have a, a separate computer here 
Again, sorry if I'm losing any of you guys, but I'm using a software called Testcom, and I'm going to connect up to it with my IC693 CBL305. All right. Right now, I'm using port one, and I'm going to show you the indicator. Port one is RS232. Okay. Then on the other side, I have my serial port, okay? And this is gonna plug into the back of my, my laptop here. And what I'm gonna do is once this is up, okay, there it is. Well, uh, I'm going to select the uh, CCM protocol. And then I'm gonna click try all. And this is gonna send a query to the product and then it's returned back with a, an immediate reply. And um, testing it once is sufficient, then you have to go back through and I'll show you guys where to switch over to RS-485. I like to test it three times. I like to clear, up, clear the query and the reply and then retest it and clear it and retest it. Uh, I'm more satisfied with three out of three. I, I'd rather see that it works consistently. All right. Now that we've tested the RS-232, I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to stop the controller, go to my uh, port 2, RS-232, we're going to toggle over to RS-485 and the first thing I'm going to do is you've changed something or I've changed something, you're asking it to do something different so you must clear the controller and I.O. fault table, okay? Because if you look down below here, it's telling you your configuration is not equal. If you change just the slightest, smallest thing, it is not equal. It's no longer the same as what we did before. So we're gonna hit, hit okay, yes. Keep us from getting hung up. Uh, download and start active target. In just a second here, we're gonna go through the same. And as soon as this is done building, okay? enable the outputs. All right, now, so what I'm doing here is I'm switching over to my 485. Okay, you guys see that? On the cable itself, it says port two with an arrow pointing to my 485. And again, we're gonna reconnect. If you guys don't have a reason to test the 485, that's fine too. But for all of you out there, this is how we, we test both ports. When these come in for uh, evaluation or possibly for repair, we will test both ports and make sure everything's working perfectly. All right, and the same protocol with TestCom. I'm gonna go through and select test all. Send the query and I get an immediate reply. And again, I like to do that three times. So. Uh, three times makes me feel more secure that it's that it's in good working condition. So just as a recap, uh, the first thing to look for when you power it up is to make sure that you have it settle on the OK light. Um, make sure that um, when you configure it, it configures as a PCM301, that there's no uh, configuration issues as, as far as it reading it as a PCM301. Okay. And of course, make sure that you test, most importantly, the, the basic function of this module is that port number two. Test the RS-232, test the 485. And if you get replies, then that means you have a good working unit. Also, make sure that this ACC301 battery is in good working condition, okay? Replace it if you think it needs replacing. It's well worth it. Uh, IC693 PCM301 is a module that we commonly repair here at PDF Supply. Uh, we offer exchange programs, new and remanufactured products. So if that's something that you need or interests you, please see us at pdfsupply.com. Thank you.